Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. As you can probably tell, the stock market is slightly down today, after the federal chairman, who is Jerome Powell, is in doubt whether or not the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates anytime soon. At first glance, it seems that inflation is here to stick around longer, however, in my personal opinion, eventually interest rates will be lowered by the Federal Reserve, which will cause a phenomenal catalyst for the general stock market, thus pushing a multiplicity of stocks up in their prices. More good news is that the Dow Jones Index has actually broken its six-day losing streak because United Health went soaring after reporting better-than-expected quarterly earnings. United Health, which is one of my favorite stocks, actually jumped by 5.22% recently, up to $468.89 per share. However, before you make an investment into this company, always make sure to do your own research. And we're going to talk more about them a little later in this video. But right now, let's jump into some banking news. It seems that all of the major banks have reported their first quarter results and their earnings were relatively good, if not better than originally anticipated. This should show us that the economy is a lot stronger than we think it is, and even though inflation isn't coming down as fast as we thought, overall things still look very good and the stock market could continuously go higher. We also see various initial public offerings starting to pick up again, and we also see some volatility in investment banking activities. We've also seen stronger consumer spending, people's income increasing, and and we also see some entrepreneurs starting their own businesses by taking out business loans, which has been very good for various banks across the spectrum. These are more indicators of a very strong economy, which is why the stock market should continuously follow suit. But now let's talk about some individual stock news, such as Nike, ticker symbol NKE, which trades at $94.68 per share. Nike is a sports apparel company, and recently, the company's CEO blamed remote work for the company's recent sales struggles. But we also have good news in regards to this company as they continuously pivot to direct to consumer sales which should help out the company tremendously and of course their overall share price. We also have Live Nation in the news, ticker symbol LYV, which trades at $91.82. If you didn't know, Live Nation owns Ticketmaster, which is a platform where people can go to buy tickets. And as of right now, Taylor Swift fans as well as the US government don't seem to like Ticketmaster or Live Nation. According to the article, the Justice Department is reportedly getting ready to slap America's largest concert promoter, which is Live Nation, with an antitrust lawsuit as soon as next month. Officially, the details are unknown in regards to this lawsuit, but I think it is very easy to assume why this lawsuit is happening. When we consider that Ticketmaster controls over 80% of the market for primary ticket sales in America's largest venues, clearly this antitrust lawsuit is going to be over their monopoly over over this market. This actually isn't surprising considering that the DOJ already was aware of this because they investigated this company back in 2022. The reason for this investigation is because Ticketmaster crashed after millions of Taylor Swift fans tried to snap up Eras Tour tickets. As a platform, Ticketmaster crashed and other people were buying tickets on Ticketmaster and then upselling their tickets which cost anywhere from $50 to $500 and then those were inflated in their price up to $21,000 dollars per ticket on other sites such as StubHub. At the end of the day, this is negative publicity for Live Nation, ticker symbol LYV, and I think their share price is going to plummet from this, but only time will tell. As an investor, you should also know at least three more quick news updates before we get into the best stocks to buy. So let's quickly go over the latest artificial intelligence news, starting off with AMD. Advanced Micro Devices, ticker symbol AMD, has recently debuted two powerful chips for quote AI PCs. Yet despite this, their share price dropped by around 5.78%, and we also know that various chips from AMD, Nvidia, and Intel could also be used to power new AI phones. Artificial intelligence is one of the best places to put your money right now, and companies like AMD, Nvidia, Intel, ASML, as well as TSM are some of the best that you can come across, not to mention other companies like Palantir Technologies as well as Supermicrocomputer. By investing into these sorts of companies, you are well on your way 
to building wealth over the long term. So again, always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Now let's move on and talk about Alaska Airlines. Recently, US consumers filed a lawsuit to stop Alaska Airlines, ticker symbol ALK, from purchasing Hawaiian Airlines for a total purchase price of $1.9 billion. Essentially, the argument behind the lawsuit would be if these two companies become one, it would lead to layoffs, higher ticket prices, and fewer flights. Therefore, investors do not want this deal to officially go through, and that's why you as an investor need to be paying attention to this, because if it doesn't go through, this is going to act as a negative catalyst for both of these companies and their respected share prices. The last news updates before we get into the best stocks to buy would be for United Health, ticker symbol UNH, which trades at $478.99, and this is a company I personally hold in my portfolio. The share price of United Health spiked recently after this healthcare behemoth topped earnings estimates, with their medical costs dropping in quarter one of last year, and they're also expecting up to $1.6 billion from a loss due to a cyber attack in February. But despite all of this, their share price still went up, which is great news for investors and myself, considering that I personally am invested in this company. But now let's talk about the best stocks to buy right now, starting off with none other than Tesla. And it seems that Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is heavily buying into TSLA stock, so let's talk about why that is. If you didn't know, Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer, but they are also much more than that, considering that they also specialize in artificial intelligence, energy storage, as well as energy generation. Over the past few months, Tesla's share price has come down quite a bit, but ARK Invest's own Kathy Wood is buying more and more shares, just like I am during this time, because buying this company on weakness could be a fantastic strategy if you plan to hold this company over the long term. Kathy Wood is so bullish on Tesla that she bought around 21,000 Tesla shares across her three funds, including 15,101 shares going directly into her ARK Innovation ETF. You should also be aware that Tesla is one of her largest positions, representing almost 10% of her entire portfolio. We also have to take into consideration that this is all happening why Tesla is getting a lot of negative news updates and negative publicity in regards to the company, and this is pushing down their share price. As an example, Tesla stock fell by around 11% in the recent month due to weaker than expected delivery numbers. The company delivered around 387,000 units in the first quarter, which was about 20,000 units less than the lowest Wall Street estimates for their deliveries. To make matters worse, after this delivery miss, a lot of analysts ended up cutting their price targets and ratings for Tesla stock. As of right now, the average analyst price target for Tesla stock is around $192 per share, which is down from the original average of $200 per share a month earlier. Recently, we also saw a Barclays analyst lower his price target from $225 per share down to just $180 per share. Except, Kathy Wood and myself still believe that right now is a great buying opportunity to invest into Tesla. In my personal opinion, I will continuously buy Tesla stock below $200, and I will buy even more if it drops below $150 per share. But again, always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up on the best stocks to buy, let's talk about ARM Holdings, ticker symbol ARM, ticker name ARM. The reason why ARM Holdings is down today, as well as a lot of other chip makers and artificial intelligence stocks, is because ASML Holdings actually brought in disappointed earnings results. In this case, ASML let to lower share prices in companies like Nvidia as well as ARM Holdings. As an example, ARM shares finished the day around 12% down from their original starting price, while ASML's shares dropped by only 7.1%. For me personally, I like both ARM Holdings and ASML, and that's why I hold ASML in my personal portfolio. Now, you should be aware that ASML did report a sharp decline in their revenue, and they also called for lower guidance in regards to their sales for the second quarter. With that being said, ASML does expect expect their revenues to improve and grow rapidly from the second half of the year onwards all the way until 2025. But what about ARM holdings? Well, ARM stock is trading at a forward price to earnings ratio of around 100, which is very expensive right now. So in the meantime, by ARM falling in the respected share price, this could actually translate as a better buying opportunity. Now, with that being said, we will get an even better update for ARM next month when the company releases their fourth quarter earnings results. I think this company will bring in mixed results in regards to their earnings report, but if you are a long-term investor, right now could be one of the best times to invest into this company after they fall 
further in their share price, because the further the company falls, the better investment opportunity they become. To be transparent, I personally hold NVIDIA ARM Holdings as well as TSMC and ASML in my personal portfolio, but I can't stress it enough to always make sure to do your own research, because maybe companies that are good for me may not be the best for you, and that's why I would always encourage you to do your own due diligence before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about another favorite of mine, which is none other than Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G -O -O -G or ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. And by investing into these ticker symbols, you are actually investing into Google's parent company named Alphabet. The reason why Google is in the news is because they recently reported that they are pursuing layoffs and restructuring. According to an email from their chief financial officer, it says that part of the restructuring at Google will be building out growth hubs in areas such as Mexico City and Dublin. However, they are also planning to cut staff. As of right now, these staff cuts will continue throughout the remainder of the year, even though they won't be substantial layoffs. But nonetheless, it's interesting that Google is making these types of moves right now. I am still a huge fan of Google, and they are one of my largest holdings in my personal portfolio. But again, always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Now let's talk about one of the best AI stocks to buy right now, which is none other than Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI. This company's share price has been on an absolute roller coaster recently because it's so volatile. However, for now, it seems that SMCI stock has found a support level. According to the article, the company's share price at the end of 2023 traded at just below $300 per share. Except recently, the company soared to a record high of $1,229 per share as of March 8th. Right now, this company trades for $960 per share, while their 50-day moving average is around $943 per share. It's good to see this company hovering around this support level just in case they need it, but if they were ever to break below that support level, I'm going to be buying this company heavily. Analysts even forecast that this company will jump from $960 all the way up to $1,500 per share, which is great news for investors. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below about this company in particular. And with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Tell me what your thoughts are about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.